Time for the starter's orders finals now. It's the hurdle variety first, as usual. And let's have a look at the field. Two and a half miles is the trip. And at the top, we've got Fifth Obey for Darren Thompson, Stan Miller, and October Sunset for Graham Clutterbuck, Palace Attraction, Padre Hogan, Stay Active, David Hooney, Carmen, Kevin Meenahan, Jane Burden, Martin Leedham, Barking Athletics, Stu Gray, Squadron Sandridge, Martin Leedham, and African Bloom for Stu Gray. So once again, then, only 10, despite them being a qualifier just about every week. And away they go. Making their way towards the first. Of the 12 flights of hurdles they've got to take in this one. And Carmen led over it. And Carmen's in front then. African Bloom is second. October Sunset third, Palace Attraction is fourth, and Jane Burden and Squadron Sandridge as they get over the second. Which they're also for the those Stu Grace or Barky Athletic made a mistake. That's one that quite a few people will fancy off a decent weight in this one. It's run a couple of good races. Uh, they get over the third one, a big handicap the other week. Uh, may have been here actually at the Grand National meeting because it was very unlucky at Cheltenham in the Coral Cup, I think, when it was running from about a mile out of the handicap. And Still managed to come second or third. That's worth keeping an eye on as Carmen in the lead. Over flight four. We're on Palace Attraction second. Squadron Sandwich is third. Then African Blue. And Stan Miller. And they come down towards. Flight number five. And Carmen leads over it from Squadron Sandridge in second. Palace Attraction third, then Stan Miller. Then African Bloom is fourth. As they get over the six, this is one of the few races of the season, and these last two as well. The two, the two previous to this, the Paul Moores and the Starters Order seven that comes next. The one of the few races, about the only, I think, four jump races in the season where you can have more than two runners. If you qualified six for this, you could run all six of them. And nobody, apart from Stu Gray, Graham Clutterbuck, and myself, have put more than one in. So I'm sure most people would have had two or three qualified. I know I had about five in the case of figuring out which ones to put in. But it's Carmen, who's in the lead. Um, Squadron Sandridge in second, Stan Miller is in third, and Palace Attraction fourth, and October Sunset and African Bloom, fifth Obey the top weight, Stay Active is after that one, Barking Athletics now got up the inside, and Jane Burden has just dropped to the back of the pack. It's a race down towards the final mile then. And Carmen is in the lead. Get over the seventh. Well, they're all safely over that then. With Carmen in front, Squadron Sandwich second, Stan Miller third, and then Palace Attraction African Bloom is after that one. October Sunset. They're all still in with chances as they get over this next one. Wouldn't rule anything out. There's only about ten lengths first to last. They've got six furlongs to go. Carmen is still in the lead. Stan Miller is in second. Squadron Sandwich up the inside is third. African Bloom going well in fourth. Palace Attraction next, then Stay Active. Then after that one comes October Sunset. Fit Obey under the top weight. And then Barking Athletic and Jane Burden at the back as they start to swing towards this back part of the track and they'll be swinging for home now and it's going to be Carmen who's going to lead them into the straight I think from Stan Miller in second then get over to third last first though and it's Carmen in front Stan Miller's in second Squadron Sandwich is third African Bloom is fourth stay active being driven up the inside being driven up the outside is Fito Bay Palace Attraction is still there Jane Burden's trying to run on but he's running very wide on the track so two Barking Athletic and October Sunset those three a bit detached as they race down towards the final two and Carmen's led all the way so far Carmen Carmen's in front from Stan Miller and Fito Bay as they come down towards this second last then now Carmen's in the lead Carmen pops over in front from Stan Miller Fito Bay here comes African Blue
William on the outside. Squadron Sandridge going through with the runners on. So to stay out to him. Barking Athletic now switches to the outside as they race to the final flight. Over it they go. And it's Stay Active who's hit the front from Barking Athletic. He's beginning to wear him down. And it's Stay Active from Barking Athletic. Barking Athletic's beginning to get up. But Stay Active's holding on. Barking Athletic and Stay Active. And Barking Athletic is going to take it. And Barking Athletic wins it from Stay Active. Then Stamela Carmen Squadron Sandwich African Bloom. And that's probably the biggest win of the season for Stu Gray and hopefully compensation for the Coral Cup as he takes that one it looked to be in a good weight didn't it and it's taken it pretty cleverly from Stay Active and Stan Miller so Barking Athletic with Stu Gray wins it Stay Active for David Hooley was second, Stan Miller, Graham Clutterbuck third, long time leader, Carmen for Kevin Meenow fourth, and Squadron Sandridge was fifth. <laughs>